ClickUp versus Notion versus Airtable, which is the better project management software? Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of all of the three platforms and which might be the best solution for you and your needs. So let's get into it. Now, starting off our video with a quick price comparison. Well, all of these have a free version. So first off, let's compare the free version on all three of these platforms. Now on ClickUp, you get a hundred megabytes of storage tasks, you get unlimited tasks and members, you get collaborative docs, real-time chat, emailing and click up, Kanban boards, sprint management, native time tracking, and 24-7 customer support. While on Notion, you get unlimited pages and blocks. You can share this with five guests and you can sync across many devices and you also get an API Notion, uh, Notion's API, which you can use to build custom integrations for your team. You also get to only add yourself. So that's going to be a issue with Notion that you can't really manage large projects because you're going to have a space limited to yourself only and you can add only five guests so the space on notions free version is a lot more limited as compared to clickup and airtable but moving on it also allows you real-time collaboration with link sharing including web and desktop mobile apps 50 block content types over 50 starter templates wikis docs and notes table lists canman boards gallery timeline views and it also allows you bulk exports which is one of the highlighted features that I find on Notion which is not provided on Airtable or ClickUp is bulk editing because if you're working in a large team you're gonna need bulk editing for a lot of your stuff. Now moving on to the free version of Airtable. Well Airtable allows you unlimited bases so bases are basically database or dashboard in Airtable. Then you have records per base and you can add 12,000 records per base. That basically means the amount of tasks that you can add or rows per Excel sheet. You can denote them like that as well. Then you can have a attachment per base and you can add a two gigabyte attachment to every base that you add. So two into 12,000 is around 2,400 gigabytes of storage for each of your tasks. Then you also have a two weeks revision and snapshot history. So you can view things that you even deleted two weeks ago. You also have rich file setups, including checkboxes, drop downs and more. You have a Android and iOS app. You also get grid, calendar, Kanban, and gallery views. However, you don't get Gantt, timeline, personal, or locked views. On applications, you can't really integrate these charts, a page designer, scripting, and pivot table. So if you're someone that has some experience in writing your own programs and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to use Airtable as your project management software. If you want to integrate your own application, you can only do that on Notion or ClickUp, and you can do that on both of those platforms for free, but you can't do it on Airtable. Now, in terms of automations, you get a hundred runs per month on Airtable and you get a two week run history and automation integrations. You also get a manual table syncing method, a sync source per table and a singular table sync per month. And after that, you also have on demand webinar. You have self-serve knowledge bases and email support on the free version of Airtable. Generally, if I was to use the free version of any of these project management software, Whereas I would definitely go with ClickUp because I find that ClickUp allows you the basic features for free. And if you're just a team starting out, you don't have a lot more to do than the basic project management that you need to do. You're easily going to find all of your needs are met on ClickUp. While on Notion, it's going to limit you with the number of people you can add. On Airtable, it's going to also limit you in terms of the amount of views and attachments and bases you can add to your dashboard or your workspace. So for Notion, if you're seeing person and you don't have a larger team you can definitely the free version on notion if you're just looking to manage your own projects and your own workflow if you want to streamline your own workflow you can definitely use notion and if you're looking for specific features that are provided by airtable that are lacking in terms of clickup or notion which are usually just their automations and their integrations they're all right but in general i would stray away from the airtable uh, free version unless and that's the biggest unless I'm going to give you guys is that they allow you a lot of attachments per base. So if you are working in a setting where you're going to have to add a file to each of your tasks, if all of your tasks, maybe if you're a graphic designer and you have to upload a file with each of your tasks. So if let's say just as an example, open up, click up and show you guys, if you have to add a file to each of your tasks, then I would suggest go with Airtable because it's going to provide you with two gigabytes of storage for each task that you have and you can 
can add as many as you want. So that's going to give you a slightly higher edge in terms of Notion or ClickUp storage saving capabilities. So if we were to go on to ClickUp over here, and if I go into my class notes, you can see over here that I have my class notes. I'm going to go in my list view. And if I open up this, so I have this neuroplasty. And if I want to add a attachment, I can add small attachments to this. So I can just click on add. And if you're someone that is submitting graphic work, video work, image work, then you're not going to be able to constantly do that in ClickUp or Notion because that they're going to limit the amount of attachments you can add. So with this, this is just a 8 KB file. So it's attaching easily, but for heavier files, you're going to have to opt for Airtable. Now, this was just a free version of all three of these. If you're someone that is looking to pay for these services, which one should you opt for? Well, if we were to compare the prices on all of these, first off, ClickUp starts at $5 per month on the unlimited version, which is best for small teams. And then on Notion, you have to pay $4 per month. And if you build this annually, you're going to get it at $4. But if you build it monthly, you're going to get it at $5. It's the same with ClickUp as well. If you build it monthly, you're going to get it at $9. But we're going to go for the yearly pricing. So Notion and ClickUp are the same. And then you also have Airtable, which starts at $10 per month. So Airtable is the slightly more expensive choice. And I will tell you guys the reason why. Airtable is going to allow you five gigabytes of attachments per task. So that's going to be a lot of storage space provided to you by Airtable. You can also sync a table automatically. You also get six months of revision and snapshot history. So you're going to get six months of data saving worth on Airtable, while on Notion or ClickUp, none of those features are provided. But as to compare their features, if we were to compare this to the business version of ClickUp or the team version of Notion, you can see that they provide unlimited team members, collaborative workspaces. They also have a sharing permission and administrator tools. They allow you for most of the features that are provided on the enterprise version for both of their platforms on ClickUp and on a Notion as well. You get Google SSO. You can create unlimited teams. You have custom exporting. You can have advanced automations, advanced dashboard features, advanced time tracking. You can have granular time estimates. You also have a advanced workload management timelines and mind maps and goal folders as well. So the Notion and ClickUp business version is more comparable to Airtable's uh, plus version. While on the pro version of Airtable, you are going to get one year of revision and snapshot history. So I find that the slight price hike in Airtable is usually due to their revision and history, although the other features are pretty much the same as ClickUp or Notion. You also get field and table editing permission and 20 gigabytes worth of attachments per base. So you can add as many files as your heart desires on the pro version of Airtable. Now, if I was to say which is the best project management software, if you're going to use it for free, go for ClickUp. If you want to use a basic, simple kind of project management software for as low a price as you possibly can, go for Notion because it's going to bill you only $4 per month if you build this annually on the personal pro version. And I find this to be more than adequate for your basic project management needs. But if you're looking for something more premium and you want something that is uh, more efficient and you need file space, that's the most essential thing. If you're working in a team where you're going to have to share files, upload files, and you need the extra storage space, definitely go with Airtable. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to select the best project management software for your needs. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.